you know, looking all over for you. What are you doing? Um, so, <laughs> nothing. I just, just a bit of fun. So the, the G90 yes. has that technology where the suspension reads the road. <laughs> so I thought, I'd, yeah, give, I thought yeah. I'd give it something to read. That you and I both know that that's not what it reads, okay? <laughs> no, I know, but I was just having some fun. Oh, but. You're watching Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the new Genesis G90. The G90. Made in the Korean kitchen that is the Genesis Ulsan facility, they've taken the dough that makes up the G80 sedan and stretched it, kneaded it, molded it. The G90 then loses its 3.3-litre V6 and 5-litre V8 options. Instead, it sports the 3.5-litre twin-turboed V6, but this time it can be had with a more powerful e-supercharged variant, giving this flagship sedan 409 horsepower. And with great flagship comes long wheelbase and a ton of luxury features. But it had better because it used to be the luxury sedan bargain. You were the chosen one! And now, a fully loaded G90 commands a six-figure purchase price. Our question today is why? And if you're new to Throttle House, we do car reviews, track tests, and quite a lot of messing about. So subscribe, hit the bell, Okay, a big part of luxury is about doing as much as possible whilst burning the minimum amount of calories. Minimum input, maximum output. Think thirst traps on TikTok. This is Thomas. Hey, Thomas. Yeah. Thomas is moving house at the moment. He's stressed. Yep. He's very tired. Thomas, do you remember the first time we played with the G90? You were literally dressed as Batman, jumping off of rooftops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Three years is a long time. He's more of an Alfred now. His sciatica is acting up. It's true. He pees five times in a night. Six. And he still is the sort of person that thinks if you press a touchscreen really hard, it works better. Yeah, it should. The good news is the new G90 is a friend of the 80-year-old technophobe with a bad back. And uh, I'm going to take Thomas for a little drive and show him why. Tom, yeah, go on. This way. Ah. <sighs> No, 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 Thomas. Auto close, mate. Press the button. There we go. Okay. So, G90, I've been living with this. Yep. Right? You're, you're comfortable. There's, I am. There's normally a pillow where your headrest is. This is still pretty pillowy. Don't know why it hasn't come with it. It has Genesis etched in it. You're you in know, the... I'm being revitalized in here. This is nice. Yeah, you're coming back to life? Yeah, I'm coming back to life. Good. I'm feeling it's, good. You've got a lot of control there. You know, a lot of things at the push of a button. Physical buttons, by the way. Yeah, like, is there a lot of options in this? Because it's got everything. Yeah, so this is the, in, the, in Canada, yeah. we can only get the top trim. And that's not because we're special, it's because they probably wouldn't sell enough. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right, yeah. So, we, so there's two engine choices. Okay. So we have the E-supercharged one. They're both twin turbo V6s. E super, that means it has a 48 volt system or something like it that, It does, right? yeah, yeah. And oh, so we get okay. 409 horsepower and 405 pound feet of torque. Also respectable. It's a heavy car, yeah. but thanks to the mild hybrid, peak torque is at 1300 RPM. So okay. basically, as soon as I put my foot down, we're moving, you know. It's not slow. It's no, not, it's not slow. It's not a spaceship. It doesn't sound amazing. Sounds like a V6, but you know what? It's it's whisking me. Well, that that's to the our thing. Location. Everything is done in the name of smoothness and luxury. In fact, Genesis say that the G90 thrives at low and medium speed. <laughs> <laughs> they they're not even trying to be. Not even trying to be fast. high speed. Yeah. Yeah. It has air suspension. Okay. For the first time. Oh wow! And this has all-wheel drive. All wheel drive, yeah. Oh, so they're moving up in the world. At least they're justifying the price with adding like the luxury things like all wheel drive, rear wheel steer, which I'm assuming this has, right? Yeah. Did it, you, oh. <laughs> 
Okay, that felt really weird. <laughs> that's, that's a bit of an asterisk to this car. Okay. Let's get to that in just... That was the rear wheel steer? Yeah. So, oh, rear wheel steer... Man. You didn't feel anything. I felt no. something. I will tell you in a minute. Yeah, so classic rear wheel steer. Yeah. The wheels turn the opposite direction at low speeds. Yeah. Uh, for tighter turning circle and the same direction at high speeds for, for stability. stability. Um, but, but, yeah, but what's that transition speed? I, d I don't know. I think it's like 40 or 50. Oh, this feels so weird back here. Yeah. For some reason oh, in man. this vehicle, it's particularly oh. aggressive. It has that kind of haunched, it feels like a cat that's on its, scared on its haunched. It kind of does this like, woo. Yeah, woo, yeah. You know? so, so the reason we didn't like the EQS, specifically in the canyons, is yeah. because, well, or any low speed driving, was because you couldn't really, it was around 20, 25 kilometers an hour yeah. where it would switch to the opposite direction of the rear wheel steer. And you couldn't predict exactly when it was going to happen. So as a driver, you'd either put too much steering lock on or not right. enough. And so, as a passenger, yeah. it feels like you're drifting, but you're not drifting. It's, a, it's an invasive species of, of rear wheel steering. <laughs> yes. Right. Okay, just do me a favor. Go around this corner. Like, you know, we're in the city right now. We're at a stoplight. Smoothest steering motion you can do. Okay, that this feels fine. Yeah, you can drive around it. Yeah. But it's up to the driver then to know that when you're at low speeds, the amount that you turn the steering wheel must be less yes. than at higher speeds. And also up to the driver is putting it into chauffeur mode. It has a chauffeur mode? Yeah, so exactly the same as my buck mode. Okay. It does everything to prioritize you. So, suspension what? is so that you have the softest, smoothest experience. Yep. It's the, my brake pedal throw and my accelerator throw lengthens. So that you can't make any abrupt transitions I can't do anything abruptly. Speeds. No. Ah, I see. Uh, you know, thing like, it has double laminated layers of glass Does the screen windows. turn on? That screen turns on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How do you... You will, as you're an old man, just press it real hard. <laughs> no, don't. Oh, it, yeah. took, it took a lot of taps to get it to wake up, I will say. Swipe the screen to unlock. Okay, I've got all my climate controls. You got got controls. my cool seats are on. Thank you for setting that ahead of time because my butt is nice and cool. But it's, it's quiet in here, isn't it? it is, no, it is there's, quiet. There's an acoustic film in between the glass panes on the window. Oh, interesting. And, there's, and it's doing the active sound thing, so it's delivering an inverted sound wave through all the speakers. Just like noise-canceling headphones. Noise-canceling headphones, yeah. yeah. No, no, I have no issues with the ride or the, the sound levels in here. Well, we've got a digital gauge cluster now, which yeah, we didn't have. Yeah, it looks have. nice. That, that was one of the things that we felt didn't bring it up. Yeah. To, and, and that maybe goes some of the way to explain the price. So yes, in terms of athletic elegance elevated, Ele this is very much <laughs> just elegance, no athleticism. No, but it uh, elevates that elegance real hard. It does, it does. <laughs> and, and the rest of the money you pay for it goes into the tech and the looks. All right, G90. Yeah. How's it look? Like a G80. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> yes, it does. So, yeah, interestingly, when the first G90, or sorry, the previous, the facelift of the previous gen was a huge, that huge grill, and you're like, that's a G90. And since right. then, they all kind of have this. Yeah. Although, importantly, here's how you can tell the difference between a G80 and a G90. I'm excited. The grill goes out, then in, whereas a G80 goes in, then in. I got it now. Right? 100%. I know you think it's not a big deal. <laughs> but you complain when some of the BMWs lost, lost the Hofmeister kink. Yeah, so, but that, the, Genesis, oh, Genesis purists. All right, yeah, we'll all, shut up. All Genesis six, purists. <laughs> all 50 of them. All 50 of them. They've been um, around for a year. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a big grill. Uh, Genesis boasts that this is the thinnest... T uh, let me get this right. I don't want to okay, okay. misquote. Um, misquote? Yeah. I've been <laughs> watching a lot of Rings of Power. Um, Genesis say that this is the thinnest... <laughs> Two line headlamps to ever appear on a Genesis. <laughs> Again. Very, yeah, it's like, this is the most mac and cheese I've ever made myself. Like, it's, it, it's so specific. Um, uh, I am tired because that was like, exceptionally funny to me. Right. But, there, there's been like, what, three of them? <laughs> yeah. Right. We made this. Them is, they're high scoring every time. Oh it's God. like when you start a brand new game. Yeah. All right. So they've okay. cleaned up some design elements. So yeah. they've tried to remove as many panel gaps as possible. It's got a clamshell. It's got a clamshell yep. now. Yep. Um, these wheels are kind of weird and wonderful, I, I think. Why are the brake calipers rusty? No, they, that's the color. They, 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 that's the color. They chose that color. Okay, yeah, I just yeah. wanted to check. Uh, but it, 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 okay, listen, it's a good-looking car, and I actually kind of like the the rear like haunch of the wheel. Yeah, it's not. No, no, listen, it, it's a nice-looking vehicle. I have stately. no issue. It's stately. Stately. I'm not sure I would give it stately. Oh, flashy is the word. Stately, oh, it's not that flashy. Stately's very Rolls Roycey. I'm not sure it's that. Fine. It's not S-class flash. Although the S-class no. is toned down now. It is. The S-class is now boring. It used to be fancy. Oof. But here we got the double uh, 
double line tail lights on the back. They're cool. I, I, I love the two, two light design. I think they did a great job. I, I, I had a look at our old G, G90 review. Yeah. And one of the things we said about it was that it lacks identity. And I think... That's not true anymore. No. Because now there's been like two or three of these. Yeah. They, all, they look like Genesis now. And the interior has come a long way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go uh, let's take a look. All right. My turn. Okay. Ooh, just like a Rolls Royce. Everything is exact. And you know what? I'm glad you said that. Because okay. I, I don't want to butcher this. Okay. Oh, you got your but, phone out again. But Genesis, awesome know with this car. Genesis say okay. that the G90 yeah. harmoniously combines new technologies with more traditional luxurious details and an analog experience. Does that smell of post-opulence? That's a bit post-opulence. That's a bit, bit post-opulence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which was a phrase that was never in our lives. <laughs> no, until Rolls Royce exists. <laughs> um, do you remember the G90 interior of old? It, it was already quite good. No, it was fine, but it was still very much like a Genesis. This looked like, if you change the badge on this or whatever, like I would be like, oh, which new luxury car is yeah, this? Do you yeah. know what I mean? This no, almost gives nice. me like Lexus vibes, the way this comes up. That is very, yeah, Lexus-y. Like shrek -ery. Uh, Yeah, for sure. But it's very pretty. We've got some wonderful design stuff going on in here. Yep, the seats are really nice too. Now that I've been... I was, I was just focusing on driving them, but like the, up here, these are great. Yeah, Alcantara, Alcantara. head mount. Can you get this in different colors? You can, there's different colors. I, I can't remember the name of this interior color, but it is a, there's like a cream and a gray. It's and a burgundy. It's more of a cognac. <laughs> okay. I'm sure it's some very fancy color. Yeah. Uh, but it, you know, they've, they've made it more uniform. This line goes all the way across here. Yeah, that's nice. They've got this, uh, oh, I got another quote from them, sorry. The, this thing going on here. This looks like the background wall of like a, like a Mandarin so bathroom. It, it's, a, <laughs> it's a forged carbon metal with a G matrix pattern, which provides, and I'm hearing this in Will Ferrell's voice, a truly luxurious interior mood for long and short drives alike. <laughs> <laughs> for long and short drives alike. Truly. <laughs> uh, more than comfortability. <laughs> so, yeah, it is very pretty. I mean, you think, like when we got in the LS500 recently, there was the frilly d design details. And I think this is a, quite a nice understated thing. The sound system in here. Yeah. The Bang & Olufsen 3D thing. Is it good? It's very good. Okay. It's very good. 23, 23 speakers? 26? Well, they got the cool, like, Bang & Olufsen tweeters. Yeah, it's got the, the tweeters. I can't yeah. remember whether it's 23 or 26. Who cares? It's Who cares? Leonardo it's DiCaprio, good. probably. Um, <laughs> but it does sound it does sound very, very good. He, he gets rid of the sound system as soon as he gets the 26. As soon as it's 26, 26, 26, 26, it's gone. It's gone. He gets rid of it. Uh, the one thing I, we missed when you were in the back there is yeah. in the armrest, there's LED UVC lights that sterilize things that the passenger's items. Whoa! Yeah. That's it's, cool. It's weirdly simple, actually. So yeah. basically, between 200 and 300 nanometers, which is where UVC operates, the nucleic acids are um, disrupted in the microbe. So basically, the nucleic acids absorb UVC light, which results in primidine dimers disrupting the uh, nucleic acid's ability to replicate or express necessary proteins. Oh, I totally understand. So basically, denatures the protein structure of the. Yeah, you already acid. got that. But it causes cell death in the bacteria and, and prevents anti. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That's, that's very easy. Um, um, yeah. so okay, it clean, so it basically can clean a bottle of water. <laughs> okay. Bottle of water. <laughs> bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we've also got some funky stuff going on in here. Like this is all the new Genesis stuff. So oh, it's really nice. It's easy to use as well. And I got this little this little knobby down here that I can do things with. Yeah. Right. And then there's there's the mood. Mood curator. Which mood is curator. It's all about mood, luxury mood, this mood. Oh, this is vitality. Yeah. And then there's delight. <laughs> delight. It's weird. It's just a weird word to pick. Afternoon delight. <laughs> I, I don't know how often comfort. you'd use this. Like, given how good the speaker system is, I'd rather just rock out to music. Yeah, this is very gimmicky. It always has been whenever it came on any car, yeah. right? Yeah. It's, it, it, when a new person gets in the car, you go, like, check this out. Yes. And you never use it for That's yourself. It. Yeah. You watch it only on a stupid YouTube review. Yeah. that you've happened onto on a Sunday morning. Uh, yeah, this is, it could be a Wednesday, we don't know. We never know when we post. Um, the, <laughs> this, uh, this is nice, actually. I like the design of this. It's, yeah. oops. It's, it's brought it forward a lot. Okay. Like, the, so the steering was one of my favorite aspects of this. And, and we were saying when you are in the back, everything is quite physical. The touch buttons, they're like these That's big really nice. aluminum things. And this is yeah. all big touch buttons. I don't want to press them. The I'm horn, stopping. you mean? Of course it is. There's a no, big one. No, but these buttons, they look like, on, on oh, the, even yes. they're on the piano black, yes. they look like they'd be capacitive touch, but they're real buttons. They're actual buttons. Uh, the Ooh, design, seats on now. The design's come a long way because yeah. the old one looked a bit weird. This looks like, I feel like if that was orange and this was white, it'd just be an egg. <laughs> like yeah, exactly. Yeah, it would, it would the two, be a little yolk in the, the center. Yeah. The two spoke is rubbing some people the wrong way. 
I, but, this uh, is an okay execution of it. I don't the, mind. The little Mercedes thing. That is very Mercedes. It doesn't that, have as yeah. much utility. It basically just changes the music left or right. Oh, well, that's, that's boring. It. Yeah. That's boring. Um, I like that. I, I don't know if we've... This is cool because it buzzes when it goes into reverse. You feel that in your hand? Yeah, yeah. It's and really cool. And it, and it, feels, go, oh, bzz, it feels markedly different to this, cool. which changes stuff. It, it's, oh, we're oh, moving. I moved, oh, I we're moving. Uh-oh. Um, well, no, it, it still doesn't <laughs> matter. Like, either way, you are going to flick the car into neutral as you try and change the song on the stereo. Yeah, yeah. It's going to happen. You might. You might. <laughs> right. uh, oh, one other thing about this. So, I, I, we didn't touch on it when I was driving, but yeah. the driving assists in this are top notch. They really? have been they have been Hyundai Genesis for a while. Yeah. But one of my favorite things is that this has don't want to butcher it. Oh, you smudge more I stuff wanna, coming out of I the press release. Hands-on detection. Hands-on right? detection. Which sounds like something they teach you in the police academy. <laughs> but they, basically when you are doing lane assist, so which is something that really helps with fatigue on highway journeys, oftentimes it gets annoyed at you. Even if your hands on it, it's like, can you put your hands on the wheel and you have to squeeze or move? Yeah. This can feel just the touch of your fingers very gently. Interesting. So you, you are therefore more relaxed, which is luxury because you're burning the minimum amount minimum of calories. Minimum amount of calories, as we learned. Yeah. yeah. No, this, this, this is really nice. It's a good car. I wish that it drove a little bit tighter than yeah. it does. I don't really like the way that it drives. But if you're buying it to sit in it in your driveway, <laughs> It's great. Or to, or to be chauffeured or to be sh well, on, a even, on a highway. On a yes, highway, yes. yes. It, and it's interesting because, as we said, this, the Genesis was always the one that was supposed to be a bit cheaper. And it is still. It, yeah. like, this is fully optioned at the prices, you know, 100 grand US, 115 Canadian. Yeah. And the other ones, like I optioned out an S-Class. Yeah. Similar S-Classes, they're like 50 grand more. That's right, it's way more. Once, once you put the right options on. Right. But then comes the 7 Series. And I don't want to take away the G90's Thunder in its own single car review. <laughs> but the new 7 Series, is we haven't tested it yet, but it looks pretty nuts. It looks pretty cool. I optioned out a 740, which you can't get in Canada for some reason. But in the US, you can get a 740 of the new gen. And once you put all the stuff on it, including the giant TV in the back. Yeah, that is a very cool TV. It's only 16 grand more than the G90. I don't know. I haven't driven it yet, but I would say that I would probably find 16 grand. It's scary. If I was going to order one after I've not driven either, yeah. I'd probably take the 7 well, Series. We are Sorry. testing one soon. We so. are. But yeah. Uh, conclusion? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... The G90's new price might not put it squarely amongst its similarly specced German competitors, but it's closer than it has ever been. The good news is the G90, in most ways, is better than it's ever been. The smooth e-supercharged powertrain with its pretty seamless stop-start system is a highlight, as is the dedication to the passenger isolation and comfort. It's not the getaway car that the S-Class or the 7 Series might be, but there's some Rolls-Royce flair in some fun places, and also some of that Rolls-Royce minimalism in others. All the tech is intuitive and easy to use, and with those thinnest Genesis headlights ever, it looks the part as well. That, and for the price in Canada, they actually bundle in ceramic protection, a set of winter wheels and tires including changeover and storage, and, wait for it, free refills of the scented cabin diffuser. Our only gripe really is the overly apparent rear wheel steer. Like a waiter standing over you, watching you eat your entire meal, it has a way of making you feel uncomfortable. That aside though, the G90 still earns its place as the competitively priced luxury underdog. Thanks for watching.